So thanks for joining uh, me for Baby Lap Time with the Edmonton Public Library today. My name is Angela. I'm really happy to be here and I'm really glad you're able to join us today. Um, as always, I have a couple minutes of super quick housekeeping things to go through and then we're going to get to lots of songs and rhymes um, and fun stuff with our little ones today. Um, first things first, uh, I'm sitting on my floor today and the floor is where we normally sit when we do baby lap time at the Edmonton Public Library. I'm going to alternate in this class between having my baby here um, on their back as well as in my lap, um, facing out and facing in. So an area with a little bit more space like the floor or the couch or even a bed is great, but you know your space best, so do whatever works for you. Um, baby lap time is normally geared for kids up to 12 months old, but if you have older kids with you, that's fantastic. Toddlers will have a lot of fun too, and I'll talk about ways that we can adapt each of the songs and rhymes and activities um, so that it's fun for people of, and kids of all ages. So no worries if you don't have a baby with you. Even if you're just an adult, the songs are pretty catchy, so you might want to stick around. Um, if you've been with a class with us uh, before, either online or uh, in person, you'll know we have three pretty simple um, story time guidelines that I want to talk about quickly. They're just behind me here. The first one is be safe. Um, you're in your own home, so you know what you need to do to be safe. And we're all already being safe and keeping each other safe by staying home today. And hopefully we don't have to stay home for too much longer. Our second guideline is have fun. Please participate and sing along with me and don't be afraid to be a little bit silly. I say this every week because I think it's very true. Um, if you feel a little bit goofy about singing any of the songs or doing the activities by yourself or just with your baby in your home, just remember that I am singing all the songs just in front of this computer to this stuffed animal. So if anyone should feel extra goofy, it's definitely me and not you. Our final guideline is just go with the flow. Um, just a reminder, if you need to take a break or leave or step out at any time, please feel free to do so. You should be able to pause and rewind this recording at any time and I'll also be posting the full class on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel afterwards along with all the lyrics and the words to the songs and rhymes so you definitely don't have to worry about missing anything. So that's it for housekeeping stuff. Before we get started I always like to start with the cleanup song so if you have anything that might be distracting around either for you or for your kids that you want to put away we can do that together. Um, what's really great about baby lap time and classes at the library is that face-to-face -face, um, time with your child is so valuable and they love watching your face and your expressions and your mouth making the sound. So um, if there's anything that you might want to put away, let's do it together. Ready? Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Yay! You'll notice that I will clap and cheer after every song and I'll also always use this sign, which is the sign for more and babies pick up on it really quickly. So we're going to do the song one more time. I have a few more things to put away. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Yay! That's a really quick and easy song that you probably already know, but singing um, songs repeatedly when you're doing kind of regular household activities like cleaning is a really easy way to kind of associate words and tunes with, with activities that you're doing, and it makes those not so fun activities a little bit fun when kids are learning to do them. Great job. Now that we've cleaned up, we're gonna have to sing a hello song, I think. So the hello song this week um, goes to the tune of London Bridge is Falling Down, and it's really simple. We're gonna do it two times. So you can have your baby laying down for this one. You can hold them in your lap if you want as well. So this one goes, say hello and clap with me, clap with me, clap with me. Say hello and clap with me. My fair baby, say hello and wave with me, wave with me, wave with me, say hello and wave with me, my fair baby, say hello and jump with me, jump with me, jump with me, say hello and jump with me, my fair baby. Yay! 
So it's a super easy song, nothing in it actually even rhymes, so it's a really good one to substitute in different verbs or activities based on what your baby um, has fun doing. If you're a big kid, you can make it super challenging, and of course you can do the jumps and everything by yourself. So let's do that one one more time with those same verses. Ready? Say hello and clap with me, clap with me, clap with me. Say hello and clap with me, my fair baby. Say hello and wave with me, wave with me, wave with me. Say hello and wave with me, my fair baby. Say hello and jump with me, jump with me, jump with me. Say hello and jump with me, my fair baby. Yay! Good job. Thanks for singing along. Now that we've sung a hello song, the next thing we normally do is sing a name song so we can learn everyone's names. And even though we can't see and hear everyone that's here today, it's still really fun to celebrate our own names. So the name song, I will start by singing my name and then I'll sing about my baby's name, and then we'll talk about how you are gonna sing about your name. So this is the same name song we've done for all of our virtual baby lap time classes. Repetition is really important for babies, and so hopefully some of you are familiar with it now. So this one goes, Angela's here today, oh Angela's here today, let's all clap our hands and say hip hip hooray, hooray! And you have to do a big cheer at the end of everyone's name. My baby's name is Tigger, so we're gonna go Tigger's here today, oh Tigger's here today, let's all clap our hands and say hip hip hooray, hooray! Alright, now it's your turn. So for the next three verses, I'm gonna say you are here today in the song, but you are gonna sing it with your own names. So you can do your baby's name for all three times that we're gonna sing the song, or if you like, you can do your name and your baby's name, or if you have siblings or other relatives or friends in the room, you can do a different person's name each time. And don't forget to do the big cheer at the end. Ready? You are here today, oh you are here today. Let's all clap our hands and say hip hip hooray, hooray! We're gonna do it one more time, ready? You are here today, oh you are here today, let's all clap our hands and say hip hip hooray, hooray! Okay, we're going to do that one one more time. You are here today, oh you are here today, let's all clap our hands and say hip hip hooray, hooray! Great job! Babies love to hear the sound of their own names, um, so throughout the class there's a lot of songs where I'm going to use the generic baby as part of the song, but you can feel free to always fill in your child's name. Thanks for singing along. The next song we're going to sing is about our clothes. Is everyone wearing clothes today? Probably. It's a little chillier out um, than the rest of the week, hey? This one's called Baby Put Your Pants On. So this is a great song for getting kids ready to get dressed, whether you're going out or getting dressed in pajamas to go to bed. Um, it's nice because you're learning lots of sort of utility words um, like our clothing in this one. So for this one, you can either um, use signs, which I will do the first time I sing it. So pants, shirt, um, or you can easily just grab articles of clothing either on your baby or on yourself to sort of demonstrate those words. Ready? So this one goes, baby put your pants on, pants on, pants on, baby put your pants on, one, two, three. Baby put your shirt on, shirt on, shirt on, baby put your shirt on, one, two, three. Baby put your socks on, socks on, socks on, baby put your socks on, one, two, three. Baby, put your shoes on, shoes on, shoes on. Baby, put your shoes on, one, two, three. Baby, put your hat on, hat on, hat on. Baby, put your hat on, one, two, three. Baby, put your coat on, coat on, coat on. Baby, put your coat on, one, two, three. 
Now that we're all dressed, all dressed, all dressed, now that we're all dressed, let's go play. Yay! Good job. So I did a lot of verses, so it was kind of long, but it's a really easy song to adapt um, to just a few articles of clothing if that's what you're putting on. And it's also really fun to do it sort of in reverse where you can talk about taking our clothes off if you're undressing for the day or taking your winter gear out when you're coming inside. So we're going to do that one more time. So we're going to take all our clothes off and we're going to put them back on. We'll start with our pants. Ready? Baby, put your pants on, pants on, pants on. Baby, put your pants on. One, two, three. Baby, put your shirt on, shirt on, shirt on. Baby, put your shirt on. One, two, three. Baby, put your socks on, socks on, socks on. Baby, put your socks on. One, two, three. Baby, put your shoes on, shoes on, shoes on. Baby, put your shoes on. One, two, three. Baby, put your hat on, hat on, hat on. Baby, put your hat on. One, two, three. Baby, put your coat on, coat on, coat on. Baby, put your coat on. One, two, three. Now that we're all dressed, all dressed, all dressed, now that we're all dressed, let's go play. Yay! Good job. That one's really catchy too. And the one, two, three is nice because it's a good way to sort of reinforce those primary counting numbers. Good job. We're going to do another song that's got lots of verses and then we'll do some rhymes so we can give our voices a little break. So this one's called Hurry, Hurry, Drive the Fire Truck. So this is fun to have, whether it's a baby or a toddler, they can sit in your lap. But if you're a big kid and you want to sit in a chair or the floor and pretend you're driving a fire truck, that's really fun too. So there's lots of different verses and actions and we'll do them together. So I'm going to put my baby in the fire truck and the song goes like this. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Ding, 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 ding. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Ding, 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 ding. Yay! Good job! That one's fun. Did everyone pretend they were a firefighter? Should we go and save one more fire? Let's do that one more time. Ready? We're gonna drive our fire truck first. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Ding, 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 ding. Let's go back to the station now. Slowly, slowly, back to the station, slowly, slowly, back to the station, slowly, slowly, back to the station, ding, 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 ding. Yay! Good job. Thanks for singing along with me. That one is a lot of singing. So let's take a break from singing. We're going to do a couple of rhymes and then we'll get back to the songs. So this next rhyme is called Bicycle Bicycle and it's kind of very timely because I think Edmontonians are um, having a bicycle um, kind of fad. We're all having to spend a lot more time outside than normal. So this would be a fun rhyme if you're on a real bike but because we're inside right now I'm gonna have my baby lying on their back and we're gonna do sort of pedal motions with their feet and if you're a big kid maybe you could do this on your own while sitting in a chair or something. So this goes like this. 
Bicycle, bicycle, pedal slow. Bicycle, bicycle, to and fro. Bicycle, bicycle, pedal fast. Bicycle, bicycle, step on the gas. And we can go really, really, really fast at the end. Yay, good job. Should we do that one more time? Get your bicycles ready. Bicycle, bicycle, pedal slow. Bicycle, bicycle, to and fro. Bicycle, bicycle, pedal fast. Bicycle, bicycle, step on the gas. Yay. And because it builds anticipation in that one, you can do a big tickle or a lift at the end too when you say step on the gas. Great job. Another rhyme we're gonna do is about clocks. So this one, I'm gonna have my baby in my lap. You might know this from our classes. It's called grandfather clock. And we'll do it two times. So this one goes, the grandfather clock goes tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. The kitchen clock goes tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. But the wristwatch goes tick, 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 tick. Yay! So that one's got big tickles at the end, or if your baby likes lifts, you can always do it as a lift too. So it's really simple. So the short rhymes are kind of nice because you can kind of pull them out at any moment. Um, if your baby's familiar with them, it's a nice way to provide a distraction or something fun when they're getting fussy or bored um, or having to wait for the next activity. Let's do that one about clocks one more time. Ready? The grandfather clock goes tick, tock, tick, Tock, tick, tock. The kitchen clock goes tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. But the wristwatch goes tick, 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 tick. Yay! Good job. All right. Are we ready to sing some more songs, do we think? There's some fun ones coming up. So this next one we're gonna do is called Have You Ever Seen a Baby? So this one's got lots of movement and action too. You can do this um, with a big kid in your lap too. They'll think it's super fun. Uh, so I'm gonna have my baby in my lap for this one. And it goes like this. Have you ever seen a baby, a baby, a baby? Have you ever seen a baby go this way and that? Go this way and that way and this way and that way. Have you ever seen a baby go this way and that? Yay! So it's a really simple and super short song, um, but if your baby really likes motion um, and swaying and rocking and sliding, it's a really fun song um, the whole time. So let's do that one more time. Ready? Have you ever seen a baby, a baby, a baby? Have you ever seen a baby go this way and that? Go this way and that way and this way and that way. Have you ever seen a baby go this way and that? Yay! Good job! And if you have kids that really like that one, you can have as many this ways and that ways as you want. So it can be a short song or it can be a really, really long song. Great job! Thanks for joining me on that one. Um, we've got a few more songs and they're gonna have some more. I like to save the lifts for the end. So we've got a few more songs with lifts coming up. This next one is called Bouncing Bouncing. We did this um, at our last online class. Um, it's one that's got lots of verbs, like I mentioned earlier. It's really easy to substitute. So we'll do a few verses together, but it's really easy to put in um, different actions and activities that suit um, your baby or your kids too. So if you're a big kid, you can follow along and do um, jumps and stuff yourself, but I will have baby on my knees for this one. And it goes, Bouncing, bouncing, baby on my knee. Bouncing, bouncing, one, two, three. And you can do a big lift or a tickle at the end um, of each verse. Next, we're gonna go rocking. Rocking, rocking, baby on my knee. Rocking, rocking, one, two, three. What are we gonna do next? How about turning? That's a good verb to learn. Turning, turning, baby on my knee. 
turning, turning, one, two, three. Yay, good job. So we're going to do those same three verses one more time. But like I said, if there's a different action that your baby prefers, um, feel free to substitute those in. And you can always substitute your baby's name super easily into this song as well. So we're going to start with bouncing. Bouncing, bouncing, baby on my knee. Bouncing, bouncing, one, two, three. Rocking, rocking, baby on my knee. Rocking, rocking, one, two, three. Turning, turning, baby on my knee. Turning, turning, one, two, three. Yay, good job. If your uh, child liked lifts, I think they're really gonna like this next song. Um, it's called the Elevator Song, so I put it into every class because it's so fun and it's such a fun song to sing as well. So hopefully um, your kids are familiar and really enjoy this one. There's gonna be lots of lifts, so maybe you won't like it as much. Um, so I'm gonna have baby um, in front of me. You can have them facing in. Um, it's really fun to see each other's faces. I'll have my baby facing out so you can see their face. But this one goes. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. We take the Elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, then we turn around. Yay! I love that song. It's so fun um, and so fun for babies too. We're going to do that song one more time, but we're going to do it a lot faster. Ready? Oh, the city is great and the city is grand there are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor and this is what we do when we go out the door we take the elevator up take the elevator down take the elevator up take the elevator down take the elevator up take the elevator down then we turn around yay that one's a mouthful, but I love it. Um, the next song we're going to do is another fan favorite and probably um, parent favorite too. It's called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. So if you're a big kid, I want you to stand up for this one and you're going to jump as high as you can when we blast off together. And if you have a baby, you can have them in your lap for this one. So with babies, it's you can do bouncing or rocking um, during the verses and we're going to do a blast off at the end, but I'm going to do the actions um, for the bigger kids to follow along with this one. So this one goes, zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, Two, one, blast off! Yay! Good job! That one's really fun, hey? Should we do it one more time? And this time, let's see if we can go even higher than the first time. Ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay! Good job. I hope you got lots of giggles out of that one. So our time is almost up and we just did lots of lifting and jumping and bouncing. So I think before we sing a goodbye song, let's sing um, kind of a bit of a more mellow song together. We've done this one together in our virtual classes before as well. It's called I Love You. And it's just a sweet song to share um, with people that you love. So let's do this one together. It goes, I love you, you love me. 
We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Mwah! Won't you say you love me too? Yay! Good job. That's a really nice way to end a class, but let's do that one more time before we sing our goodbye song. Ready? I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Mwah! Won't you say you love me too? Yay! Good job. Thanks for singing along. I really love that song. Before we go, we're going to have to sing a goodbye song. So the goodbye song this week, we've done this um, a few weeks ago too. It's called The Goodbye Train. So everyone's going to pretend they're riding a big train for this one. So if you're a big kid, maybe you can stand up and march and chug along like you're a train. And if you're a little kid, we can have them in our lap. So for this song, it's important that every time we do this, we all say choo-choo like a train. Ready? So this one goes, oh, the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, choo-choo. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, choo-choo. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving, oh, the goodbye train is leaving, oh, the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, choo-choo. Yay, good job. Let's do that one more time. Can we get back in our trains? Ready? Oh, the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, choo-choo. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, choo-choo. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving, oh, the goodbye train is leaving, oh, the goodbye train is leaving, see you soon, choo-choo. Yay! That's a catchy song too, thanks for singing along. So we're coming to the end of the class now. That one was a lot of singing, I need to have a glass of water, so hopefully you have one around. Thanks again for coming. I always have lots of fun and um, I hope you had fun as well. Um, we're going to post the recording of this full class on Facebook and YouTube um, later today. So if you want to rewatch it or if you missed anything, you can feel free to find those online. I'm also going to post all the songs and rhymes and their lyrics on our Facebook channel and our YouTube channel as well. So you can find those there. Too. Um, don't forget if you're looking for ebooks, um, movies, or music for kids, we've got lots of great kids content online for free um, at epl.ca and you can sign up for a library card to access all of those for free as well. If you don't have one yet, just go to epl.ca slash card and you'll find everything you need uh, to get your library card going there. Our next baby lap time class is going to be in another two weeks. So that's going to be Wednesday, June 17th, and we're going to do it at 10.30 a.m. So in the morning for the next one, June 17th. And just a reminder that starting June 15th, EPL is going to be starting our summer reading club program. Um, it's going to be fun for all ages. We're taking it online this year. There will be more information coming up soon, but definitely something to look forward to. We'll have fun activities and classes um, and challenges for kids of all ages. That's everything for this week, though. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great week. Bye.